another episode of As Real As They Come Dallas, and I'm Jennifer Loading. Elia Brown. And we are here at the Turkish Cafe in Plano. Super excited that you guys are here. Be sure you hit the subscribe button on YouTube. And Yulia, who do we have today? Well, we have Miss Lisa Gomez. She is a plus size model and inspiration to many people. And I can't wait to hear your story. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for having me today. Thank you for being I'm here. I'm super excited. So, Miss Lisa, tell us about your journey, about how you became a model, and what inspired you. Um, since I was a little girl, I've always wanted to be a model, you know, and I and I was that chubby little girl, <laughs> and I'm still <laughs> chubby. I was always been chubby, and and then like seven years ago, because I've been doing this about seven years, um, they this photographer hit me up, and he's like, "Hey, I would love to take your pictures," and I'm like. You talking to me? Me? For real? But look at my, you know, size. He's like, no, I love you. Let's do this. So I went to go take those pho photos, and there was other models that were smaller than me. And they kind of gave me that look like, what are you doing there? What are you doing here? And I took my pictures. I was like, I belong here just as much as you. So that's how I got started. And then he asked me to take another photo photo shoot and, and I was like oh my god I love this and I that's how I got started and then what else um, what else happened I've been in several magazines in the DFW I've been published um, in bold magazine it's out of New York wow. <laughs> and they've been Las Vegas too and I was on the cover of that one and um but my very first magazine was can out of canada wow. canada magazine and it was um i did a theme for breast cancer awareness photo shoot so, so you're international so yes yes <laughs> and then um i've been in fashion shows um i've been in um dallas fashion week I was the ambassador for Dallas Fashion Week, Houston Fashion Week, Austin Fashion Week. Wow. I was ambassador for him, for that company. And then my last photo shoot, my, I'm sorry, my last fashion show was in February for the Latino Film Fashion Week. And I got an award for the, from the Dallas Mayor. Dallas Fun. Mayor, shout out. Yes, wow. yes, from the Dallas Mayor, yes. And that was huge for me, you know, for just... Yeah. Because my inspiration of having um, scoliosis, MS, and still being able to model. Wow. And, yeah. Wow. That's so awesome. that's, that's how I got started. So I, I think this is fun. So do you have, like, because I haven't looked at your work. I mean, I've looked at some, some things that you've mm -hmm. done, but do you have, like, a certain niche or a certain thing that you like? Because I know, like, in modeling, I'm not obviously familiar with modeling. That's not my thing. But... Mm -hmm. There, everybody kind of sort of has kind of an area that they like to do. Is there anything particular that you love modeling or? I love doing editorial print work. That's what I love. Um, um, because like if I do a photo shoot, I would like for it to mean something, yeah. you know? So um, my, I worked with a makeup artist called Anel Naya Lacona okay. for several years. And we would just think of themes, you know? And like I did a warrior thing with MS. And so, and I've worked with several photographers, wow. truly blessed in the DFW area. I love that. And in Houston, too, as well. Yeah, I love so, that. Thank you, thank you. So, I just want to be an inspiration for other models right. that are my size or that have some kind of illness that don't let nothing sure. stand in your way. Follow your dream. And I've had been turned down by several people. You know, because I cannot wear high heels mm. in a fashion show. Yeah. And sometimes they're like, it's mandatory for you to wear, you know, high heels. And I can't. And so I've been discriminated, you know, because of that. I'm like, but I can walk. I just can't wear the high heels. High heels are hard to wear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. They're hard to wear. They're they are. They're, they're always hard to wear. wear. <laughs> exactly. So, but um, I'm luckily, you know, I have been in, you know, the Latino film fashion week and then also I'm about to be in another one with Raul Torres for um, the breast cancer awareness 
So I'm super excited. That's October 18th. It's awesome, Lisa. I'm super excited. And where is that taking place? Uh, in the DFW. Okay. <laughs> Somewhere in DFW. I can, I can post that. We will post that. We will definitely yes. drop yes, the please, link please put, drop down yes. below our podcast. And you are more sure. welcome to, um, to go. And it's, you know, it's a big yeah. event. So... Awesome. And it's safe. It's safe. It's Corona <laughs> safe. Okay, we're wearing masks, and he designs masks. He designs everything. Oh, wow. Yes. Wow. So I'm super awesome. excited. Awesome. Yeah. Especially for breast cancer survivors, that's definitely yes, a big deal. Yes. Yes. Because how many did he say he was going to be having? Like oh, almost a hundred. Yes. About a hundred models. Uh, wow. Yes. Well, yeah, a hundred models, and then like seventy um, breast cancer. Survivors. Yep. Wow. So I'm wow. super excited. That's impressive. I can't wait to see that. I would love to attend that event. Yes. Uh, I'll send the link. It's on my page. Lisa Gomez, plus size model. It's on my Instagram and it's on my Facebook page, Lisa Gomez. There you well. go. We know where to find you now. So you Thanks can for sharing sure that. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a question we would have asked you at some point. How do they find you, right? That's awesome. That's awesome. Very so, um, and I know Yuli will have some more questions. So, I want to ask you, and this is always because I like to pick into the brains of these people when they come on here. So, okay, what I don't do you, know if you want to pick in my not, brain this today? This is not a bad pick, right? This is fun. So, what <laughs> what do you love about modeling? What's the best part of this for you? What's what's the what's really like keeping you going in this? Other than modeling. we talked about the stories and being an inspiration, modeling um, because I have a goal set where I want to be. Okay, and I'm gonna get to it. This is awesome. Okay. I want to work. I would like to be like Ashley Graham or Tess Holiday. I don't know if y'all heard of Tess Holiday. I heard. She's, she's about it. she's about my size, okay. and she's been in cover of a major magazine, like in Style magazine, yeah. Vogue magazine, and so I swear I want to be working. Fun. I want to work with high end designers and stuff like that and be like, I want it when you go into like Torrid, yeah. you see my face. That's fun. And that's a plus size clothing line. I like it. But it, outside of being just plus size inspiration, you also inspire a lot of people that that's have internal right. struggles like MS. MS mm-hmm. is one of those problems that. Like you said, you can't prove it that you have it. It's extremely hard to get disability for. Mm-hmm. You have to live with it and tell everybody, I am in pain. Yeah. yeah. And the scoliosis. It's like the outside, I may look perfectly fine, but inside, you're feeling it. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a struggle. It. It's a struggle. I but actually, I don't really stop. interestingly enough, when I was diagnosed with my nerve pain, that's, we were actually looking for MS. That was one of the things we were testing mm-hmm. for to find out. Mm-hmm. So I can understand, I don't, not that particular condition, but I know what nerve pain feels like. Exactly. So I can absolutely understand having an internal condition mm-hmm. when the world thinks that everything's okay on the outside. And no, you're dying inside. Right? <laughs> yes, I get exactly. it. I get it. Exactly. It's like, how do you transfer, you know, to people that, Hey, I look good here, and, and I used to joke about it because I would. I remember going into like one of my doctors at the time, mm-hmm. and the doctor's like, "Well, you look good," and I'm like, "Okay, but you're not fixing anything on the inside. Exactly. How do I care about looking exactly. good? I want to mm-hmm. be fixed, you know." Exactly. So I think that that's really like Julia said. I think that that is, and I think that's why a lot of us do what we do in our different areas mm-hmm. or whatever we're passionate about, is when we have a story or something we want to show other people that hey. Just because you have this condition doesn't define who you are as a person. Exactly. Right? Mm-hmm. You're Lisa. Like you're, not, you're not your condition. Physically, yeah, right? exactly. That's so perfect. I love that. I love that you have a goal, too. And that's Thank kind of what you. I wanted to dig in there to see what is it you're trying to, you know, is there something you're working on? or Because like I said, we all have reasons why we do things, and I feel like we have reasons that, that drive us to do things. Mm-hmm. And, and it's really not always about, you know, that end result. It's that journey that you kind of go in the process of getting towards mm-hmm. there. Like all the things you're learning, the people you meet. And yep. the encounters and experience, and you and you're in an industry where you can have like these amazing experiences, you mm-hmm. know. So you want to like soak them in. Like, yes. You know? Yes. Yes. And that's why you know I've actually had women inbox me and be like, "You're an inspiration." So awesome. You know, um, I want to model too, and I'll help. I'm more than welcome. Okay, this is how y- you you know get, get going. Get going, wow. and, or be like, "This is my." 
disability, you know, you're such, such an inspiration. I love your pictures and what they mean and stuff like that. So that makes me feel good. If I can help that one person, I will. And considering that you are basically literally breaking the stereotype, how do you react and what helps you to kind of mend this reaction to people that are naysayers or the ones that not of acceptance? How do you handle that? That's not accepting of me? That's, That's a good question. That, that, you know what? I got a million. That was a yeah. good one. <laughs> you know, um, I, I've had, you know, every, in any in, in industry, you do have the negativity. Right. And I'm just like, it's your loss. Whatever, you know, I mean, it's, you're not going to break me. I, I, Lily, if you see, I'll put on there, I'm a warrior. Because you have to be, Yeah. you know. And plus, you are there for the cause. Because mm -hmm. in reality, you get two zero-size models, and they'll still, still be catty. Exactly. And still will be breaking mm -hmm. each other down. But exactly. I think what's inspirational about you is that you are there to build people up. You're not there to tear them down and say, well, you're not Negativity. worthy. Yes. You're not beautiful enough. You're not mm -hmm. skinny enough. You're not this. You're not that. Mm -hmm. You're actually there to inspire people. And I, I admire that. And that's one mm -hmm. of the reasons why I wanted you to be our guest. Thank to you. inspire our vi viewers. And Thank you. Yes. Because like I said, you got to live each day like it's your last. Especially what's going on now. <laughs> you know? But I've always thought that, and I've always tell people that, you know. And there's if there's women that, that that's even that's been smaller come to me and be like, oh, you know, I feel like this. I feel like you are a beautiful queen. Because us as women, what we have to go through, we are a queen. <laughs> the regal, right? The regal row, right? Right. We are. We are, and that's what I put on there, beautiful queens at Feed and Bake, because we are. Yeah. Love that. So what do you like doing for fun? For fun. Um, Modeling. Modeling. <laughs> that's fun, right? That's fun, but I don't consider that as a, oh, this is just like, I do for fun. No, to me, I take this very seriously, and it's, uh, my. I want it to be my career, I want it to be, I take it very seriously. Sure. I don't play around. Sure. But what I do like for fun is to come to environments like this and just hang out with my friends and and spend time with my family. It's family first and um, I, my faith. I'm big on faith. Okay? Awesome. <laughs> so that's what I do is read, yeah. read, you know, the Bible. But that's not, you know, that's what I do. Yeah, absolutely. God has mysterious ways for whether you believe it or not. And yep. I think at yeah. the end of the road, I'm pretty positive that at least 99% come to the fact that, hey, we are not an accident. We are here, here on purpose. For purpose. And I think everybody has a purpose. Absolutely. You know, to be here, you know. Yeah. And like uh, I was uh, saying that on the other podcast, I have people that will shoot down some of my posts about God. And yeah. and to me, it's almost like a cry for help. Mm. For, mm -hmm. for me, it's not them breaking me down, but more like they're reaching out and trying mm -hmm. to shoot holes. I in, call in it daggers. My, that's what I call it, daggers. <laughs> it's daggers, but at the same time, they're looking to hear another message that will make them change their mind. Mm. Because if I made up my mind about something, I won't be looking exactly. for proof yeah. for otherwise. Well, you wouldn't yeah. feel the need probably to even comment because mm -hmm. you'd be solid in your belief. That's, that's, that's yeah. When somebody, yeah, I agree with you. And at first you're like, why does somebody need to shoot that down? Why does somebody feel the need to shoot that down? And mm -hmm. if they do, you're right. It's probably they're wavering in their own belief about something and that's why they feel the need to do it. So, exactly. I agree exactly. With you. I agree with you. Mm -hmm. I have a question I want to ask you because I feel like anything that we do, and I talk about this in my in my other podcast that I do, I always ask this question. And so, because I feel like in anything we do, we always have inspiration. We have people that inspire us, and, mm -hmm. and I call them, you know, mentors, coaches, or whomever that is for you. Is there anybody that you feel like over the years has been like an inspiration for you that kind of 
I guess maybe helped you propel forward or gave you that, hey, like you talked about earlier, like I want to be like those models. Is there anybody else in your um, life locally that's been a great inspiration? Well, uh, Anel and I, Lacona, she supported me. She did a lot of my makeup okay. and she supported me and my husband supported me. So those are my that's awesome. biggest you know yeah we all need cheerleaders cheerleaders yep we all need those. yep especially if you're a cheerleader for everybody else you know because a lot of times i think that people that think that people because i do a lot of that too you know like uplifting and motivating other people and so i think a lot of times people think that mm -hmm. those people don't need them and everybody exactly does. I think exactly we, coaches need coaches you know? yeah, exactly it's like <laughs> we're saying. not always yes we don't we're, wake up like that, that every day, day. <laughs> exactly well there are therapists that need therapists exactly yes. exactly mm -hmm. i always say people don't come out with their makeup on put it in face and they're like always smiling i don't feel like this i don't know what y'all are talking about you know, I dream a genie be like, I know, right? And we can just come out of bed and be like that every day and be happy. And there's like no chaos, nothing going on. It's there's all good. nothing in our lives. Right. It's, you know, it's all peaches and but cream. But it's not always like that, right? 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 That's so true. But it is a. I do think it's a mental, you know, a mental mind shift. Mm -hmm. that you have that. But I do agree that I think that you do. Wherever you're going, if you're aspiring to do anything, you need mentors that have walked before you, mm -hmm. paved the way, so that you have something to look and at. And you mentioned that already like about the models that you're models, aspiring. yeah, like Ash. Well, like I look at Ashley Graham, mm -hmm. I look at Tess Holiday, and I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, Tess Holiday can do it. You got I, this. I can, I could do this too, because she's about the same size as me, awesome. and she has done a lot. I'm so gonna have to check like, them out now that you said all yes, that. Check yes, yes. And, and I'm sure somebody's looking at your profile, at your Facebook, at your social media, and they probably thinking the same thing. There's a young mm -hmm. girl that feeling out of place for one reason or the other because we're living in a sort of a cruel world. Yeah, yeah. And, and I, I grew up with living like that. Yeah. And she's probably looking at me like, oh my God, Lisa Gomez is my inspiration. Right. No, that, that, yeah, that made me feel good, yes. It's awesome. Because I, I was like, growing up, I had it hard. Everybody has a story. It's just some people's stories are worse than others and harder than others. But everybody does have a story. That's what I say. And stories sell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. People like to, well, people, because I think authenticity is important and I think people can relate to stories. They, you know, like mm -hmm. we're that's what we're talking about here is the fact that, hey, somebody out there may be looking at this and going, hey, I want to do this, whether it's modeling or anything. They may exactly. be looking at an obstacle and exactly. going, that is something that's out of my reach and I've been told, you know, forever that that's something I can't do. But then here I see that's somebody true. that doesn't fit a stereotype or doesn't, or there's maybe a stigma or whatever that is, it's wrapped around something and they defy that because mm -hmm. they see somebody else do that. So. I think, yeah, I mean, I think you're a great example of defying the odds and on many levels and showing people that, hey, you can, if you want something bad enough, you can work towards work. it and make it and happen. And don't let anybody stop you or, or yeah. anything stop right. you. Right, 100%. Because, like, I, for example, like, I grew up chubby. I was always chubby. And, you know, um, and just different things, yeah. you know. And so I always been like shut down, cut down. You've got a you great know? personality. Though. Thank I think you. That, that's helpful because not and I and, that, and then again that's you've had to work at that. I'm sure it's not something like hey we're a rosy keen all the time. But, mm -hmm. but I think your outlook is a lot of plays a lot into what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And so if your outlook is that you can overcome something, you're going to naturally look for a solution. You're going to look for the win. You're always going to be going towards that. Hey, where's that that place that I need to go rather than the defeat. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. That's the, that's the mm -hmm. difference, you know? Because, like, like, you know, another example, I've had photographers be like, oh, I can't work with your size. If you were a little bit smaller, I could. Okay, that's fine. It's, it's not my loss, it's your loss. Yeah. Hey, good day. You, have a good day, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, you know. And it will happen. And, it happens. And the thing is, whether it's in any business like you mm -hmm. said before you will always have somebody to shut you down mm -hmm. and whether you take it as a lesson or you get into that victim mentality that's a choice too mm -hmm. because you can choose to say well there are five doors that closed in front of me i had five turn downs or six or even a hundred yeah. mm -hmm. but you know what it takes one person Mm -hmm. to approve what you do and i experienced that in my career i've been ridiculed <laughs> you're a lady you're 
you're a foreigner. What do you know? You're you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got degree. What does that mean? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that means that I'm credible, but (laughs) it takes one person Mm -hmm. to give you a chance to actually go and show what you're made of, Mm -hmm. give you a chance, allow you to build your foundation and move forward. Exactly, exactly. I mean, it took years for me to get where I wanted to be, and finally I'm there and I'm ready to conquer the world. Exactly. And Mm -hmm. it's the same way. Don't be afraid of somebody shutting you down. Mm-hmm. It's okay because, like you said, it's their loss. It's their loss. <laughs> it's their loss. And yeah. It's their learning experience because mm-hmm. then they will learn to appreciate who they have, whether it's a loyal employee or inspirational model or mm-hmm. someone that can actually bring a ton of value mm-hmm. to your situation, company, yeah. to situation, any, any or to someone mm-hmm. who is even... A third party that you may never even know about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a huge deal. Yeah, I think that's exactly. amazing. Never giving up. Thank you. Yes, yes. And don't give up. Don't give up. <laughs> right? Don't give up. Don't, don't give, give up, up, lady. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. So, are you writing a book? Writing a book? Why not? Oh, they <laughs> did do it. Oh, they did do a um, per, a a newsletter on me. Um, N-A-F-F out of Las Vegas I forgot a whole portfolio about my story awesome. so they had that as a newsletter yeah. so I mean but I never thought about writing a book though you should oh my gosh I don't know if I should, should I? next podcast we're going to be talking about it aren't we <laughs> you want to help me Sure, let's let's, let's write, write a book. A, a, news, a newspaper. Or a newspaper. newspaper. Forget newspapers. We'll write a She's book. Like, a a magazine. Like, let's do the book. A magazine. Like, I don't know about the book. <laughs> I don't know about the book. Maybe the, news, maybe the magazine. Magazine. Or the article. <laughs> We're manifesting your book, right? She's like, yeah. you write a book? I am. I am. It's oh, the wow. truth. <laughs> there you Speak go. the truth. That's why we're on as real as they come. Dallas, yeah, right here at Turkish Cafe. Exactly. Love. That exactly. is the truth. <laughs> well, thank you for watching. As real as they come, Dallas. I'm Yulia Brown. I'm Jennifer Loading. And I'm Lisa Gomez. And please don't forget to subscribe, like our show, like our episode, and uh, comment. Would love to hear from you. Yes, I would like to hear all your comments. <laughs>